Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Code Emporium where we are going to talk about data science internships. You've worked oh so hard to study for this internship and finally you snagged it. And now it is time to begin the internship. Here are four tips on what you probably should be doing and how you should probably spend your time during that internship. Before we get to the video, please do give this video a like, because the more you like, the more other people will see the video and they will like, and then more other people will see the video and the process goes on. Also, be sure to check out our Discord server. The link is down in the description below. We would love to have you there. We're talking about some amazing things, and it's going to be a great community if you're there, of course. Thank you all for watching, and with that, let's get back to the video. The first thing that you should probably be mindful of during a data science internship is to set realistic goals. A typical format for these internships is that during this three month period, you will either be given one very long project that will probably take all of your time, or you might be given a bunch of smaller tasks that kind of get you a feel for the entire data science environment. Whatever it is, you only have three months, so try to make the most of it. Something that I've kind of seen time and time again with interns is that they try to set very unrealistic expectations of themselves. They'll try to go in and think that they could probably solve all the world's problems right there. Just know that you can't, and it is totally okay not to. You are there at the internship to learn, not to be 100% ramped up within the next three months. While there are some people on this side who feel like an internship can be a little overwhelming, there's other people who might feel like they're not being completely challenged. This I've seen is particularly true if your internship does not have a very long-term project and has a bunch of these smaller other projects that you take care of. If you feel this way, then don't hesitate to reach out to your manager or your mentor. Sit down with them, tell them that you're not really feeling challenged enough, and maybe you two can work out something where in a way where your data science internship will actually be a little more meaningful and be more useful to you. After all, you are there to learn, and this is the primary objective of an internship. Another thing that you should do during your entire internship is to ask more questions. I can't tell you how important this is, not only as an intern, but even during your entire career path. I've seen interns time and time again, they will hold out from asking questions because they feel a little stupid asking very silly questions. But guess what? Most of the questions that you ask are going to be stupid, and that is expected, and your manager and mentor will be like, yes, you should be asking those questions. They are stupid, maybe, but I'm, am I glad that you asked those questions? Definitely. But in all seriousness, no question is a misplaced one. You are there to learn. And anything that you can ask to learn is only going to help you. There is a little bit of a fine line here. If you are hit with a problem, you kind of want to do your research a little bit more. Try to understand the problem that you are facing. Try to think and brainstorm of multiple solutions before potentially hitting up your manager. But if you've thought long and hard about a specific situation to your problem and you've brainstormed multiple solutions and you just want to get advice, feel free to actually just go for it. In fact, it can save you a lot of time and you will learn a lot quicker this way too. Moving on to number three, you want to be making connections. During your internship, one of two things typically happen. You're either going to be thrust into your internship without really meeting many people, or you might be on the opposite end, meeting way too many people, so much so that you start forgetting names and faces. Just note that meeting a lot of people is great, but it's even more important to make connections, and meeting people and making connections are not necessarily the same. What you want to do here is try to strike conversations with these coworkers, maybe flag them down during lunch, or maybe schedule some time on their calendar to meet and talk about how you can help their work, how they kind of fit into the entire ecosystem, and other questions that you may have about their day to day. These questions can become super important because the more you know about how each different type of employee fits into your workspace as a data scientist, the more it'll help you in your future as a data scientist to holistically start solving problems and think about how these different cogs can be put together. 
Apart from that, connections are great for maybe future job prospects too, whether it's in this current company or in another company. Bottom line, making connections can only help you in the long run. And the fourth and final point of advice here for data science interns is to have fun. Chances are, when you get your internship, you're going to a new city, a new location. So just have fun and start exploring the city. Start talking to people either inside or outside of your workplace. Make some memories there. I guess the story is a little different for people who are working remotely and they're only in their home city. So in that situation, you can probably try to go spark up conversations online with some coworkers, go to some virtual happy hours and just have fun. You know, apart from this also, sparking up connections with people, this can also help you avoid burnout. Burnout is real, it happens to all of us, and a primary factor of burnout is stress, specifically working on a single job a little too long. So if you can't go and meet people all the time, at least try to go pick up a sport, pick up some hobbies, anything that can keep your mind off of just working on a computer 24 seven. And that's all I got for you now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope these tips do help you navigate your way through a successful data science internships. For those of you who have landed these opportunities, congrats, you have an amazing opportunity, an amazing field, and it can, you can only go up from here. For those looking to land opportunities, good on you. I think you're doing super well and you're gonna hit this opportunity very soon. Internships are a great threshold to full-time careers. It's how I also got started with my career and I believe you can too. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. Do join us on Discord, link is down in the description below. Drop that like in the video, do subscribe for more amazing content from Code Emporium, and we will see you very soon. Take it easy.